Hey, what's going on guys? We're continuing the slap bass course. We're gonna be talking about hammer-ons in this lesson, so stay tuned. Here we go. All right guys, if you don't know, Derek here from DerekBennett.com. We're gonna be talking about hammer-ons, uh, like I mentioned before, in this lesson. Uh, this is a continuation of the slap bass course. Uh, before we talked about technique, right hand technique. Uh, we talked about double thumb technique in the previous lessons. If you haven't seen those, I'll put a link to it somewhere up here. You can go check those out and then come this uh, come to this video and then check this one out. Um, it's it's kind of going in chronological order a little bit. I guess you can, yeah, I would say start them, you know, uh, start the first one, second one, third one, you know what I mean? But anyway, we talked about right hand technique, double thumb technique. We talked about the popping motion, um, placement, where your finger should be, um, all of that good stuff. But we're going to be talking about something a little bit, um, I wouldn't call it simple, but it's a continuation. Like I say, uh, you can add on to it, just enhance your, your playing a little bit uh, more. So the whole goal to this is actually playing more, uh, more, more notes with less effort, I guess I would say. So you're playing more notes with less effort, but it's almost like a ghost note. It's almost close to a ghost note with a, what a hammer on is. I guess I'll start with the definition. What the hammer on is, it's like a, a ghost note before the actual note that you play. Um, but it's, it's more than nine times out of 10, an open string that you're gonna be playing. Um, the string might not even have anything to do with the key that you're playing in. Um, trust me, it doesn't have to. Uh, when you're slapping, you barely hear the actual note of that, um, the actual note of the string that you actually slap or actually pop or whatever you wanna, uh, whatever you're doing at the time. But you hear that and it, and it sounds like a, like a, that's why I said it sounds like a ghost note, but you're slapping with it. So I call it a hammer on. So when you're a hammer on, uh, when you're playing slap, there's different meanings to that too. Cause like you can have a hammer on, uh, when you're playing just a regular bass line, and that can be a hammer on right there, right? So from one note to the next, so I'm just, I'm not plucking that note, I'm letting my left hand do the work. So I'm actually tapping that note with my left hand, with my left, whatever, the third finger, or whatever it could be, it doesn't have to be a whole step. That's, that's a hammer on, just the, the, the act of not actually plucking the string, but letting that left hand do the work, all right? So with slapping, uh, in this case that I wanna show you, um, <clears throat> we're, that's why I said we're using an open string when we're, when we're slapping uh, with the hammer on. So the I'm gonna actually play like a groove so I can show you a little bit more. I think I played it, I played it already. If you didn't hear it, go back and listen to it or watch it closely because I'm doing hammer ons. I'm doing, uh, I'm playing this groove in the key of E all right, which a lot of bass players like to slap in E. Uh, but anyway, you can do this in any key, doesn't matter. The note doesn't even have to coincide with uh, whatever your whatever key you're playing in, like I said. So if you're playing uh, open string, uh, so the groove goes like this. The groove is open, open A, all right? D, open A, E, all right? So I'm hitting the A, the open A, letting that ring, but then hammering on that, that, that D with my first finger. That's the move. Very simple. Very simple. Um, it's not as technical as the double thumb technique. If you watched that video, that was the uh, last previous video to the, the, to this course, but it's a slap hammer on boom tap. It's like a tap of the note. That's all it is. It's, I mean, just to not be so technical, you're literally just tapping the string without plugging it, but we're using a slap motion this time. But if you do it pretty quick, you can get that illusion of a ghost note, um, of a ghost note, but actually having the same uh, note value in this case for this um, for this exercise, for this groove that I'm getting ready to show you. So what I'm doing is I'm doing open A, D, first finger, octave. All right, all together. So I have open A, D, pop, all right? We do it slowly. Right. So all, every single note has the same note value. All right. It has the same beats in it as it, the note before. Right. Bum, bum, ba. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to do the same exact thing. Move it up a whole step. Same exact thing. Very easy concept. All right. But to get it in that groove, to make sure it locks in. All right. To make sure it locks in with that beat. So I'm doing one, two, three, four. Right? But at the end of that, I'm playing actually the open E just to end off the, uh, 
the end of the groove. Boom, boom. Let's do it slower. All right, so it's very simple. You take that same concept and I'm just moving it around. All right, so, so you're actually playing a lot more notes. I'm playing three notes, all right, with a slap and a pluck, all right? I'm letting this hand do the work with that third, that third note, right, in, in between that. So that's what I mentioned before, playing more notes with less effort. So you wanna do that a couple times back and forth. Three, four, two, that was a groove in the beginning that I was playing with the hammer on um, um, that, it, that you can actually go back and listen to and, and uh, get, get a feel for it. So you can move this exercise anywhere you want to, not just in the groove, but to be able to practice it. To be able to, to, be, uh, blah, to be able to get the rhythm right. To be able to make sure those notes are spaced out equally so you're not hitting something at the same time. So a slap, hammer, pluck, slap, hammer, pluck. So I'm just moving it up and down, moving that same three note pattern. Boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da. All right. So it's actually a pretty easy exercise, uh, but when you add it on to uh, the different techniques that I use or that we talked about before, you can get some pretty crazy pretty amazing uh combinations to to hook up with that so that was the original groove right so i'm gonna add on to it so all i'm doing is i'm popping with my first two with my first two fingers my index and my middle and i'm playing the um i'm playing fifths here two notes at a time so both playing at the same time Right, half step away from each other starting on the E flat no not E flat sorry Start starting on the F sharp to the G but I'm playing the fifth of that too so my first finger is playing the F sharp and then I'm playing the C sharp then I'm playing the G and the D at the same time so those are fifths if you didn't know <laughs> so I'm playing those two at the same time so so boom And that was the basic, that was the basic uh, line of the groove, right? That was the, the meat of the bass line. But you can do this whatever way you want to. It doesn't, doesn't, you can go backwards. You can do E, D, open. You can do, you know, backwards too. So it's uh, so many different combinations that you can do this with. I mentioned time and time again that you can take it, take something and run with it. Take a concept and run with it. You don't have to play it exactly how I'm playing it. Um, I just played a groove that was just, you know, that's what, what I was thinking at the time. It doesn't matter. Uh, it might change up tomorrow. I mean, I might change it up even now as I'm teaching you. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but sometimes it's like that. Sometimes, you, you know, the groove just comes out of you. Uh, and you don't have to play the same exact thing. But if you want to play that same exact groove, just go back and look at it and listen to what I'm doing. But at the same time, realize that, you know, take that, realize that you can take that and run with it and create your own groove um, just with my concept. You know what I mean? And I'll actually show um, show you the rest of the groove or the rest of the, I think I think there was something that I did um, when I was slapping in between that. Um, there was a short lick or something like that. But I'm, I, you know, I might as well show you now since you're here. <laughs> I might as well show you. Um, so let's figure it out. Let's, let's, Let's map it all out. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Hopefully you can take this groove or this concept, uh, take it and run with it. Uh, like I always say, um, add your own little flair or your own little spice to it, you know, the double thumb technique and, you know, just the things we've learned throughout this slap course. Um, and trust me, this is not the end. We have a whole lot more to learn, a whole lot more to cover on the slap course. Um, and make sure when you're practicing this, like I always say, take it slow. Make sure you know it's coming out clean, clear, and precise. Until next time. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Make sure you. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Make sure you know. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Make sure you. All right, guys, so. All right, guys, so that's. All right, so. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Make sure you. 
All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Hopefully you can take this groove or this concept um, that I'm showing you, take it and run with it, like I always say. Um, create your own little groove and you know add your own spice and your own little flair to the groove and the stuff that we've learned throughout this slap course. And if you haven't seen the rest of the slap course, I strongly suggest you go check it out um, so you can get some pretty cool techniques and uh, definitely some great fundamental things you need to know about slap bass. Um, but anyway, at any rate, make sure you know so coming out clean, clear, and precise and make sure you're taking this slow. Until next time, I'll see you.